Denizens of the Comics Verse, Mark Bouchard here uh, with none other than Rhymefest at C2E2. Your album, Man in the Mirror, was featured in a long line of Marvel's uh, hip-hop variants with which they launched the new, all-new, all-different lineup. And as a comics fan, uh, how did that feel to you? Uh, that was better than winning a Grammy. That was better than winning a lot of the awards that I won because comics is something that represents my life. It's a theme for my life. I look at challenges that people with amazing talents and powers have to go through and how they overcome them. And so for me to be honored by the people who create the superheroes, who I relate myself to, that that was, uh, it was unexpected. And I would do anything to just throw myself fully into the role. Um, rap and comics have had a, a relationship for a very long time. And I was wondering what your thoughts on the connection between them are. And uh, why do you think they work so well together? Because rappers, rappers in ourselves, we're people who create um, personas. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, Rick Ross was a correctionals officer in real life. But then when he dressed up and grabbed a microphone, he became Rick Ross, the drug dealer. Like, you know, like, you know, uh, me, Ryan Fest, you know, like in real life, I'm a community guy, you know what I mean? But when I grabbed that microphone, I'm like the battle rapper, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just the ill MC. And, and so if you look at Wu-Tang Clan, you know what I mean? I don't know how many of them know martial arts for real. <laughs> But when they like grab the microphone, they definitely could do kung fu, you know what I mean? And so, you know, rap is the audio personification of comic of of the visual of comics. You've put out an obscene amount of very very popular music, um, and I was just wondering if you could elaborate or give us some insight on what your process is when you're writing. I believe that music, good songs are conversation, one-way conversations that entertain people. So if you can ask a question and answer it on beat, you probably got a good song. And, uh, and um, you just said something about being uh, active in the community. Um, I've, I've done a little research. You're, uh, fairly, you're kind of outspoken politically, and I, was, uh, I wanted to uh, bring up something that was said uh, by Young Thug a couple of years ago regarding uh, music, have, I mean, um, politics having no place in music. Recently, people have been uh, saying some of the same stuff about po politics in comic books, and I was just wondering if uh, what your thoughts were on that. I don't think you would have Captain America if you didn't have politics in comics. The whole joint was that Captain America was fighting Red Skull, who was a part of Hitler's Reich. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think you would have, I mean, the first Captain America was like black, you know what I mean? An experiment that just didn't work, you know what I mean? For some reason, um, you know, does art imitate reality or does reality imitate art? You know what I mean? This is a question that we must continue to, to make complicated so that people can continue to ask questions and continue to build from that. Uh, young Thug is ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't ask me to respond to ignorance. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, it's like um, Stevie Wonder made a song called Happy Birthday. That's the only reason we have a national holiday for Dr. King. It was passed through Congress because it, the music infected the people that called their congressman and said, yo, we need a national holiday for Dr. King. You know what I'm saying? So aren't you glad you get that Monday off, you know? Like, to celebrate civil rights, all right? Uh, or, or, or if you look at the Vietnam War, Marvin Gaye made a song, you know, uh, uh, what's going on? And that song infected the politics and the people and ended the war. Like music has an effect on society. It's, it's documented, it's provable, it's scientific, it's historic. People get killed because of music. Like, you know, look at, look at uh, what's the, um, uh, the young ladies in Russia? Pussy? Pussy Riot. Pussy Riot. Look at what they're doing. Look at what U2 is doing. Look at what, bon like Bono. Like, why, why are rappers the only ones that want to stay away from affecting the world? Man, that's ignorant. Yeah. Um, 
Um, I completely agree. Politics has a like has a huge place in music. Uh, yeah, I, comics. Yeah, I uh, come from like a punk background myself, so I was very just jarred um, by that, like what he said. Um, but ending on a lighter note. Okay. Um, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go on. Yeah, we all knew that was ignorant. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a lighter note, I I know we frequent the same comic book store, First yeah, Aid Comics. First aid, that's what yeah, I and I was just wondering, uh, what's in your box? What are you What are you reading right now? I'm reading Miles Morales Spider-Man. I'm reading the new X-Men. I don't like the new Avengers. It's real confusing. You know what I mean? I hate when comic books get like convoluted. You know who really has that problem? Batman. Like mm-hmm. Batman has a problem where it's like it starts off so good and then it gets bad. Like there should never be a time where it's like I'm waiting on Joker's issues mm-hmm. to come out because at least I could deal with his like sociopathic I know what he's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, Batman, I feel like they know what they're doing, and then they don't know what they're doing. You know what I mean? So many times I have to put Batman in and take Batman out. I'm not taking that risk on Hawk anymore. Like, I used to get the I, I love the Hawk. When it's good, when the Hawk is good, it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> when the Hawk is bad, it's like, what the hell is this, like, fuckery, right? Yeah. And then, like, Old Man Logan was one of the best comics ever made. Old Man Logan 2 was a piece of shit. And so I just, you know what I want? I want consistency in my box. Mm -hmm. And let's stop talking about, you know, Marvel DC, Marvel DC. Dude, Preacher was good. Mm -hmm. The Boys was good at first. Did you ever read Boys? I have have not. You ever heard of that book? Um, I actually haven't. <laughs> People should get into like indie comics. Mm-hmm. So the boys is like an indie comic about the real lives of superheroes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like superheroes that like save people but then do drugs. Like what it's <laughs> like. You know what I mean? And like how they be wilding out. You yeah. know what I mean? So so like the boys is really good to read. It just kind of peters out. But um, I've I've gotten more into indie comics. My son mm-hmm. just introduced me to. A comic called Nailbiter, mm-hmm. and so like I'm about to start reading Nailbiter. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Well, I'll definitely check that out. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Um, you edit it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on social media at Comicsverse, and go to Comicsverse.com for more in-depth analysis of comic books. Um, this has been Rhymefest. Do you have anything else to add? I am the Black Panther. <laughs> All right, signing off from C2E2, I've been Mark.